Once you have achieved a level and properly compacted sub-base, you are ready to set Type 1 Box Culvert. Typically, Box Culvert is set downslope, starting on the outlet side and finishing with the inlet side. Jensen Precast Box Culvert is designed to be placed in a direction so that the tongue of one U-shaped section is placed down into the groove of a previously placed U-shaped section. The top sections are connected by placing the groove of one top slab over the tongue of the previously placed top slab. Ensure both top and bottom joints are formed opposite of one another. For example, a bottom joint will be formed by placing a tongue end into a groove end, while the upper top slab joint will be set placing a groove end over a tongue. Each groove end should be sealed with the specified joint sealant and proper size prior to setting a tongue section. Common joint sealant for box culvert is known as mastic. Line the inside of the groove section with mastic and along the top of each wall where the top slab will be placed. To achieve proper sealing of the sections, first set two bottom sections before setting the first top slab section. Normal placement progression will have one bottom section always extending beyond the top section currently being placed. If the culvert run is multi-barrel, a three inch space should be left between the parallel culverts. Prior to backfilling, fill this gap with grout or lean cement sand slurry mix and allow it to cure prior to backfilling the excavation to ensure that all horizontal forces are uniformly transferred from outer side wall to outer side wall.